Hello there. Let's take a look at the ESMTP commands that the Cisco Secure Email Gateway, the ESA, supports, right? So in order to test it out, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to the IP address of my ESA, 10.106.36.220, and I'm going to connect on port 25, obviously, right? I see connected. We're good. No problems. If you see any problems here, then obviously you need to troubleshoot that further. You can take a PCAP after this and try to understand why are you seeing uh, problems while trying to connect to that particular uh, email server. Okay, now if I want to introduce myself, I can run hello, and that's it. This is how I introduce myself to the server who I'm trying to connect to or who I've connected to, right? I've connected already to that server, and this is how I introduce myself. I can introduce myself with the EHLO command as well, but it's not going to take it without any arguments, so it requires arguments. If I hit enter after running EHLO, it says 501. EHLO requires domain address. And I mentioned the domain address right after EHLO as an argument. So I said cisco.com, for example. I hit enter. We're good. Okay. Now, moving forward, the, um, the next command. So we checked two commands so far. Hello, EHLO, right? So I say mail from. This is nothing but your envelope from address, okay? What email address you want to use as the envelope from? This is the mail from. So I can say in this case, Asana at cisco.com, and this is how you write it. It has to be this way, right? If I hit enter now, it says 250, sender this. Okay, perfect, no problem so far. I can go for RCPT2, which is nothing but the envelope recipient. I put a colon here, no need to put a space there. I can just mention Asana at cisco.com. I hit enter, we're good, right? In these cases, as you can see right here with RCPD2 as well, I got a 250 and it says, okay, perfect, no problems. If I just hit enter while I'm running these commands, it's going to take that as a command. I cannot just ha run enter. I cannot just hit enter on a blank line. If I do that, it says right here, 500, uh, command not recognized. Okay, so far so good. Now, let's say I'm not okay with these uh, details that I sent over. Mail from this, RCPD2. No, 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 no. I want to start from the very beginning. So I run the RSET command, which is uh, to basically go ahead and start from the scratch, but the connection is not going to be terminated. So RSET is nothing but resetting the connection. Now, if I was to show you how it looks in the mail logs, so I can say tail mail logs on this ESA, hit enter, and you see as soon as I run RSET, which is reset, we saw this. Message aborted, MID 151 receiving aborted by sender. That's what the RSED did, but the connection is still up as you can see right here, right? Now, let's say I want to start from the beginning. I say mail from, and I say asan at cisco.com. I hit enter, we're good. RCPD2, I say asan at cisco.com. All good, 250, 250 for both the commands, so we're looking good. Let's say I want to send the email now. For that, I use the command data. Okay, as soon as I run data, it says 354, go ahead. Okay, I can mention the subject now if I want. So this is how I mention the subject. Hello from the network Viking. Okay, hit enter. And now I can mention the email body if I want to, right? So, hey there. Okay, perfect. Hit enter. Now, I don't want to mention anything else. I'm, I just want to send the email over. So, you just hit enter. In a separate line, you put a dot and hit enter. That's it. 250. Okay, message 152. Accepted. Now, this is done. This email has been sent now. Okay, now, there are the commands as well that you can use in the ESA. And, uh, Let's say you want to know which commands are further supported. You can run the help command. You hit enter, and you see all these commands are supported. Voila, that's too good, right? So what are these commands now? Auth is used for SMTP authentication, and that too if it's enabled. We took a look at the data. We already checked that. EHLO, already done. Hello, already done. This is the output of the help itself. Mail is used for mail from, like I showed you right here, right? And then you have the 
NOOP. Okay, so let's check out the NOOP command. Let's say I just sent an email, right? I just did that. I don't want the connection to end. Okay, I don't want the connection to timeout. In that case, I can run the NOOP, no operation. So basically, no operation doesn't do anything. It just makes sure that, you know, the connection stays up, right? And it doesn't time out, and that's what the NOOP is going to be used for. That's it, right? So helpful for making sure there are no times out, uh, timeouts. Okay, perfect. So if I wanted the, uh, want to end the connection, I can use the quit command. I'm going to show that uh, show that to you afterwards. RCPT2 command I showed you right here, right? So RSET, which is reset, I showed you this command as well, as you can see right here. And then VRFY, which is nothing but to verify if a certain mailbox exists or not. So I can say VRFY and say Hassan. Um, at cisco.com for example but in this case you'll always see a uh, 252 okay that's a 2xx okay so it's for the verification and you have another command as well uh apart from this i don't see that here um okay so in case you're able to run a uh, start tls as well so which would be nothing but something like this start tls if you don't see the command here it's going to be very uh, unlikely that you will be able to run this command, right? So if a command does not exist, if the command is not recognized, if it does not know about the command, it's going to send, it's going to throw this error back to you. If I just hit enter, it's going to throw the same error back to you, right? And if I make a mistake while running a command like mail from, and I mention asan at cisco.com, it's going to be like, command not recognized, the same error. So whenever you make such a mistake, it's going to be like, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I don't recognize this command. And by default, the number is five. If you type in uh, the incorrect commands five times, you're going to get um, disconnected. And that's the default uh, number. That's five, right? So if I hit enter again, it says 421, exceeded bad SMTP command limit. So you just hit the limit on bad SMTP commands. And therefore, it is disconnecting and connection closed by foreign host. OK, perfect. Now, if I was to show you the logs for the same, check this out. It is able to tell you that uh, it received um, an unknown command. It doesn't know about what's really going on here. And then again, it showed you the same thing. Again, it showed you the same thing. And then uh, it got disconnected on the very next one. It says exceeded maximum number of bad SMTP commands, right? So if I showed you, uh, if I show you the default again, if I hit enter again, and I'm going to show you where do you, where do you see this actually? Asan.cisco.com, right? So far, I connected uh, to this ESA again now. So if I run a bad command now, one, two, three, four, and then five, and then it got disconnected, right? Perfect. Okay. And if I was to quickly show you the interface config, I hit enter, and you see right here, right? Perfect. Um, with the start TLS, yes, uh, we're not able to see it because we don't have the cert installed. We don't have the TLS enabled on the interface itself. So I'm um, pretty sure that's the reason we don't see it there, although I don't have the time to test it out right now. Um, so whoever uh, doesn't see it, just make sure that you have uh, the certificate and TLS enabled on that interface. I'm pretty sure that is the reason. All right. You understand how to run the commands and you know how to check the commands as well make sure you always utilize the help command that's extremely helpful to understand if it's gonna uh, know what you're talking about or not right so thank you so much for your time wonderful talking to you and i'm going to put more details in the description please do check it out um put in the comments it helps a lot in uh, you know hacking the youtube algorithm you guys have a great day ahead goodbye